everyone, it's Mindy with Mindy Egan Design, and today I'm going to be creating a card by doing a little masking. This card is featuring Newton's Nook Designs and CZ Designs. I'm starting off with some Nina White 80 pound cardstock and the kitty from Holiday Mischief. I'm lining up where I want the kitty to go and then lining up the Santa hat that I want him to wear. Then I'll remove the kitty and close the lid to attach my Santa hat. I want the hat to be sitting on top of his head, so I'm going to stamp that first. And then I'm going to ink it up twice using Simon Says Black Ink. Now I need to create a mask for it so I can stamp my kitty. I'm using the ink a dink -a doo masking paper and stamping my Santa hat down. And then I'm going to cut on the black line of the hat with my scissors. It doesn't have to be perfectly stamped as we're just going to be cutting it out anyway. So I'm going to go around that entire image. And then I can go ahead and line that up on my Santa hat that I have stamped down on the paper. I can then line my kitty back up on the card, arranging it so that the ears are poking out from the Santa hat, and then I can go ahead and close the lid of my Misty to pick up the stamp. I'm going to be using the same black ink, and I'm actually going to ink it up twice to make sure I have nice crisp lines. You could always leave your stamp in the Misty too if you're using a Misty and stamp back on top of it once you're done coloring. Now I can remove the mask and I have this adorable kitty in a Santa hat ready for coloring. I'm using my Copic markers to color the image and I'll have all the colors listed down below the video and on my blog post as well. I like to color in sections so I'm starting off with the hat. I'm going to lay down my darkest color first for the shadowed areas and then blend out with my mid-tone and highlight colors. Sometimes I like to color or to go back and deepen up those shadows, but that is my own personal preference. I'm going to continue coloring this way for the rest of the image. You can follow along with the coloring or you can skip over to minute 405 to view how the card comes together. This set has some super cute add-ons and sentiments. I already went ahead and stamped a Santa place card and my sentiment onto the card. Now I'm going to start piecing the card together. I have a strip of red pattern paper from the Jolly Paper Pack from Pink and Main, and then I'm going to attach that to the bottom of the card using my Express It Tape Runner. Then I can attach my colored card panel on the top half of my card. And once I have that attached, I'm going to use a scrap strip that I had of some silver glitter cardstock from Simon Says Stamp, which is just gorgeous. And I'm going to attach that on top of the pattern paper strip. This is a great way to use up your scraps. And I just love that little glitter that it brings to the card. Once I have that strip lined up perfectly, I can now start working with my dies. 
I'm going to be using the hose die set from Suzy Designs and I cut multiple pieces from different colored cardstock. I'm using the smaller hose die for this card. I already have cut and layered up a few of these for dimension. The green has four layers. The red has two and the black has one and I'll explain why I did those in a minute. I attached these all together using my glossy accents because I couldn't find my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. And I already had an idea of how I wanted to arrange these but I played around with them a little bit just to see if something else caught my eye. I ended up with my original idea and I started to attach them to the card. I really like to use my tweezers for this so my fingers don't get in the way when I'm trying to place them down. I'm laying the black one down first and this is why I only cut one layer of it is because I already kind of knew the others were going to be layered on top and it would be harder to get it to lay nice if I attached layers on top of layers. So that's why I only have the one black. Now that I have the words attached the way that I want, I'm going to go over the red and green one with some glossy accents just to add a little bit of shine. I didn't do the black one because it was underneath already. I had already attached it, so I think it still looks great just doing the two. Now it's at this point that I noticed I got some black ink on the bottom corner of my card. So the, to hide that, I'm going to use some black Nouveau drops and just add a couple right on top of the ink spot. And then I went around the word dies and added a few more. That will complete the card for today. This is such a fun holiday card. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit the little bell so you get notified when I have a new video up. Thanks for stopping by and here are a few more videos you may be interested in and I'll see you in the next video.